Jin Chow, what's up everybody? All right, so we are gonna finish walking my area to show you what's open, what's not, how it looks. We just did Japantown, which was insane. Pretty good video in my opinion. If you do like this video, smash the like button. If you hated this video, destroy the dislike button. If you wanna comment, you may comment. If you wanna see more content in Saigon, pretty much daily, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if that uh, floats your boat, helps me out. So let's get into the video. Hello. Come on, selling some hoons. Hoons and Milo. What you are seeing a lot of is a complete uptick in recyclers, scrap metal people. I'm seeing a lot of ladies do it. Uh, yeah, it's kicked up. There's MT-15. Needs new tires. Same cell phone thing. Doesn't really take care of it the best. It's okay though. So they've got their delivery available at Som Thai. Thai food. In my opinion, not the best. We're gonna kind of just walk down here, box, and then box back. Back into Quinn Hue. Things I noticed that were pretty cool in Japantown is a couple of the lady bar owners were resilient. They were selling a lot of produce, stuff like that. You can see that video. It's out before now, so if you're a fan of Japantown and you want to see it, go ahead and head on over to that video too. So yeah, we're going to be walking to Vincom Mall, see if that's open, maybe go in there and film. I'm going to have to swap batteries. This one's low. but uh, And then we're going to take a look at uh, Nguyen Wei, since it's open now. Nguyen Wei. Everybody thinks I can't speak Vietnamese. It's pretty funny. I shall continue to troll to the day I die. You get a little, looks like sake story. I can see different bits of sake, foreign wine. This was a clothing store. So let's do what we did in Japantown and count the businesses that are gone and for rent. We've got one here, and this was a boutique by a local designer. It was never really popping off to begin with. Nacho do, okay. So we got number two. This is also for rent. As you can see, all the phone numbers. Tipsy, this place will do all right. They just opened before the last wave and they were really packed with expats all the time, so they'll do fine. So we've got two businesses for rent so far within three minutes. Let's see if uh, the French guy made it through. La Cuisine. La Cuisine. I would still recommend to him. I don't know if he watches my videos. I don't know if his food's good. I haven't tried it because yeah, I don't have a hundred bucks to spend on a meal. I mean, I'm probably exaggerating a little bit, but if I'm this guy and I come back, I offer deep discounts and I make a fast penny instead of a really slow dime. Because you could get people through there. If so, Casablanca is also for rent. So we can go three. Casablanca went out like one of the first or second waves. I don't know if we'll see La Cuisine come back. Let's let's go down here. We'll box around. We'll take a while to get to Nguyen Wei. This, this lady's the devil. Never buy a bon me from her. She upcharges foreigners. She hates them. Upcharges on anything. I'll be, or uh, bond me will be, you know, 20K for a person living here. You go up as a foreigner, 40K. Bond me just the bread, two to three K. You go up there as a foreigner, 10K for just a, one little bread loaf, which is really insane. This cigar lounge made it. I'm gonna assume it's just got a lot of money behind it, so. This is like a really 
up key up up i think this is actually a johnny walker store yeah it's a walk walker whiskey boutique so again a lot a lot of money behind it so no surprise there that that's staying open sunglasses place is getting back at it filling out the merch i think expats like this place so i imagine it'll be around some irish pub This place looks like they're getting ready for something. I think this is like a five-star hotel. I don't really stay five-star, so very rarely. If I'm solo, I especially don't. Three or four stars fine for me. Maybe computer repair guy. El Guacho, El Guacho. still haven't eaten here yet either. A little bit pricey. If I'm gonna have a good steak, it's gonna be at Manzo's. It's, you know, it's properly priced and it's freaking delicious. And the service and staff are amazing. I don't know if we ever aired Nemo's, but it wasn't good. I won't air reviews of places that are really, really low. I mean, I know what, I want to, but like, I don't want to destroy a business. But yeah, it was not good at all. Like, really, really bad. All right, I got to swap out batteries. I'll be right back. And we're back through the magic of battery swapping. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, so we're finishing up filming around here. I know a lot of you guys want to see this area because this is where you stay. In your hotel when you're in this area so that's why we're shooting the like behind windway right now and then we'll get on over there so yeah you can see some landmarks behind me here so all right no need to look at me we all know what i look like you want to see what i'm seeing tour place trying to get back open they're really going to start injecting domestic travel again like hardcore you know, we're, we've got 51 million people injected with the first stab in Vietnam now, in the whole place. So half the population has had their first jab. We're super close to, you know, I think it's 96% in Saigon first jab and like 68% on the second. So we've got another place for rent. I think that's number four. Oh, it could be. I'm always messing up the count. Four or five. We'll go with four. See anything over here that's closed? Don't think so. This Mekong Pub. I've never been to any of these places. This hotel's getting refurbed. Maybe that's available too. It's all gutted out. I guess now is a good time to do that if you're going to do it. This Mekong's here. This is you can find some really old lady out here that'll offer to... They are not uh, attractive. <laughs> There's one up here. She'll leave me alone though, I got the camera. Yeah, she completely moved off. She was sitting right out there and then she just went out, went back in the alley. She doesn't want to be on film, which is smart. But they're like, we're talking 45 year old, you know, beer belly. Not hot. You'd have to be. Hey, no. <laughs> she still tried. <laughs> this place is gutted, so it's safe to say that's available as well. We could say that's number five. Yes. Another bar lady wasn't. The bar next to it was getting up and. Chutana. Okay, so six. The seafood place is gone. That's six available. We're seeing a lot of uh, things wiped out, man. Of course, Anam is fine. They have been producing the charcuterie for the expats that are left here and various things like this. So it's a good, good place, but pretty pricey. Hello. It's a like go every, I don't know, once a month. We've got seven over here coffee place that went out 
So we've got seven now on the count. Frogger across the street here. Oh, I don't need to. I got the hand. Uh oh. Chuck got a little close for comfort. Sincho. Hello. We got eight. Nine. Of course, Hokkaido is fine. I would expect no difference. Hokkaido will get back at it. It's a, a chain. There's a Gushugi. I don't know why they have two Gushugi so close to each other, but this fabulous barbecue, one of the best, even though it's a chain, it just does it right. Good service. Nine, 10, 11. Oh, this one too, 12. So we've got 12, the count's up to 12. 13, 14, we're up to 14. Uh, this one too, 15. So we're at 15 places available. Economic devastation to many businesses. I think we'll call this one economic fallout because we're seeing it, you know, firsthand. 16, this went out a while ago. Some of these have already been out, but we're gonna count it all as a tally. This was the Sony store at one point way back when, years ago. So we're at 16, 16. Economy is just greatly affected for things like this. These were most likely all places that re relied on tours. 16. I'm gonna say 17 on that one too. Yeah, 17, 18. I won't count this one. Someone can confirm what that says. I think that says we're doing takeaway. And this is the things we're using for takeaway. So we're at 17. Here's the Sheridan. Maybe I'll ask a couple of these places to see their rooms. Well, somebody did some nice little graffiti. How kind of them. I don't know why they don't, you know why they'll never be able to stop it is there's no police around like after 10 or 11. Very, very few. So how are you gonna stop that? You'd have to have like a city patrol, like a local watch. No one, they're not gonna do that here. Let's see what we got. Oh, hi. Um, 17, 18, got another one, 18, and what, we've gone two blocks, three blocks? <coughs> to make sure we covered everything. We'll go back and down. I don't want to miss anything. And I know people like to see this particular area because a lot of people have stayed here. Like at the hotel. A lot of people like to stay around Nguyen Way. Never ate here. Don't know. If it's good, drop it in the comments. Maybe I'll try it. Once things are back to open. All the little businesses down here are open. All of them are, are had no problem with the lockdown. I mean, Rolex Boss, these all have huge money behind them, so. 18, 18 or 19? So we'll just call it 18. We'll take a look at how this street's doing, and then we'll kind of walk box back down in. 19, we'll call it 19, I think that's where we're at. These are closed, but I can't confirm if they're gonna be up for rent because they haven't posted a sign on it. So we're only gonna count ones that have the sign on it or where we can clearly see it's completely empty on the inside. 
a jewelry store. It's really funny the jewelry stores were first open. There's a bakery of some sorts, like cakes and stuff. There's specialty coffee. Got all kinds of cool stuff. Akun shop. Blue silver. I don't know what he's saying on that. There's a VinFast car. I think the electric cars have hit the market in the USA now. I don't think they'll do very well. I, w I would have focused, if I was them, on... Um, Vietnam. And lobbying to get down the taxes and all the craziness they, they charge extra for. Alright, now we're on... Nguyen Hue. We're at 19. Twelve thousand steps for the day, not bad. A little tea. You're gonna see a lot of this stuff reopen because you've got all the office workers back at the office now, needing lunch, needing coffees, needing teas, needing all this stuff. Buffet grill, hot pot dinner, that's interesting. There is lots of stuff happening on the Patreon now. You get early access to all the videos, for one. And you get unique content once a week. So if you like my content and want to see it before everyone else, be a part of a special little club, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Because you'll be able to see it there. I think we got one for rent. We got another. We just hit 20. Boom, 20. I can't remember what this was. This was a convenience store. Yeah, it was a convenience store. It was like a... Uh, can't remember which one. Mini stop, maybe? It's much so needed. Uh, they need to get a few more convenience stores because it gets so overloaded when they have a public event here. You know, you've just got the Circle K right now. There's a line out the door if there's a soccer game or something. So it'll be much needed. You know, I imagine they would do good business now because everybody's back to work. A couple of chicks taking photos on. Win way. Okay, now we're gonna walk down this one. It counts at 20. We're gonna go left and then back down on right. I want these to be full tours of this area. I want anybody that wanted to see anything that they used to go to here to be able to see it and know if it's closed or not. So, all right. We can safely say that's 21 over there. I can see the for rent signs. We're just gonna film this left-hand side though because I'm gonna be walking back up that right side. Actually, I think I can take this and then bounce across. So we'll film both sides. We're at 21, 22. So this is empty too. Xin chào, hello. 22. Yeah, that's great. The boutique still made it. The little makeup place still made it. Good for them. Gold key watch and jewelry. They made it. Good to see. I like to see it when these people can make it through. And hopefully business is prosperous for them, you know, coming up. We're at 21 or 22. I think we're at 22, so the next one's 23. You already saw this when I came back over here, so. And then we'll hook around, come down here, and then walk all the way around on the outside. And then through Windway in the middle. I mean, as you can see, there's lots of opportunity if you're wanting to start a business here. It's just about timing, when the right time is to get in and what your business is gonna be. I'm not giving advice to anyone. Chothu Na, house for rent. So that's 23. 
We've got 23. Anybody for a 23? See the house of wine. Looks like it's gone, but no rental sign for confirmation. Ah. Ah. And we'll hook back over and around here. That's all we got down here. We'll kind of get this area and then go come back around here. The security guard's looking really tough. Trying to tell me not to film or some shit. Nothing closed down here, I just checked. Good is still open over here. It's kinda cool, this little fountain thing here. No, no signs down here I can see. So, let's just kick it back this way. We finish up by going around. And into a windway. So the, you're seeing that the economic devastation firsthand on a lot of small businesses. As you can see, a lot of the big businesses are still here, but we're seeing a major wipeout of small businesses, small scale restaurants, just devastated. Temporary close. Oh, they never opened back up. I'd have to say we can make that number 25, but we'll hold off. I mean, cat and I over here at the tea place, super busy. All the kids are going there. Again, big business was able to maintain being shut down. Little businesses were not. Is really our takeaway from today. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. All in a row. Jesus, 28 empty places all within a four block radius. Wow, wowza. Yeah, I'm sure you're an authorized reseller. Mm-hmm, totally believe that. There's a hot chick over there. She looks like she's uh, a working gal. She used to be cute though. She... Oh, there's two of them. I think they're at this spa. Yeah, she's trying to bait in clientele. I've seen that look of what she's doing before. What are we at? 29? 29? I think 29. Here's the Lucky Plaza. I don't know if we ever went in there and filmed it. Jeez, I can't remember. There's not much in there, so wouldn't really make for really great content. I think we're at 29, so the next one will be 30. Now is it one, one? I think that's a 30, so we're at 30. We're at 30. Thirty places. Jesus. Just insane, right? Now which way do we want to go? Do we wanna like make a V? I think we make the V. I like that idea, guys trying to really cover everything this certainly somebody I think already confirmed this is not a real five star you see lots of not real five real five stars handed out 31 31 32 32 Whew. sweet Jesus 32 33 we've got a 33 Wow we might make it to 50. Uh, never been down here. Never been to any of these places. They all just look expensive. What do we have? 33? 34? 35? I can't remember. 
I don't know how these numbers are slipping my mind so fast. I think we were at 30, 35. <laughs> I just need to say it to myself a few more times. I'm processing lots of data at once. Here's the bank I use, VIB. Not a bad bank. Oh, I need to get in there, do some banking. Get a new debit card. Another VinFast. Companies often buy these. Like the boss will buy it and get a driver, chauffeur his ass around. I don't think we need to quite go to the front. Here's a Starbucks. Not a fan. Whatever. If you like Starbucks, go for it. I don't drink coffee anymore. On occasion I will, like once a month. I think I had, I actually had one today. Just because you couldn't get one for so long. But I'm not a habitual coffee drinker anymore. All the big time Japanese places are here, not for rent. This big Vietnamese cuisine fancy place made it through. Really need to let these guys get back to business. Oh, 36. 36. Oh, 37. 37. Give or take two. Because, yeah, I keep forgetting. 37, 37. Come on, 37. I tried to create a coercive path that we're not seeing the same thing in the video twice. 38, 38, 39, 39, 40, 40. We're at 40. We really actually might make it to 50. 40, oh, one more down there. 41, 41. We'll check the end of this street when we come back around. 41. 41. Dynasty House. Never had this dim sum, I love dim sum. Maybe we'll try it someday. Do a vlog on it. I'm sure someone's already done a vlog on it, but I don't really check on what other people are doing. 41. 41. Okay, and then we'll wrap around into Winway. A hoogar. Forty one. I mean, not to mention hotels, you know, completely devastated. The whole tourism sector is just taking blow after blow. Almost all people in travel that were in the travel industry have learned a new trade and just dumped out of it all together, 41. All together, so the economic impact on a lot of areas has been huge. You know, we've seen 41 empty businesses in 30 minutes. Pretty insane. I'm not an economist and I'm not gonna give you a bunch of bullshit on that, but you know, bottom line, the lockdown fucked a lot of things up here. Pardon me, French. Hopefully, they keep ripping the band-aid off, ripping the band-aid off, and just open everything. I don't think they're gonna do that until we've got a 90% first jab rate for the entire country. I think we got 30 million Vaccines coming this month alone. I don't know why they went with the Cuba one. It's three stabs. Uh, uh, 
I thought that was a pretty bad idea. But uh, whatever, you know. You'd think they would try to get the Johnson and Johnson. You know, the one jab. Yeah. That's what made the most sense to me. But, you know, I'm not I'm not in charge of that stuff. I don't know how they operate that or what their thinking is or creating political ties with other countries, etc. I'm not a conspiracy theory guy. Completely redoing the park. Oh, they got bulldozers out. You know, all kinds of stuff out here. This park is going to look totally different. Sadly, they're ripping out a lot of trees, which I think is a big mistake, but, you know, whatever. I think they just want to bolster this area for tourism. All right, now we're at Quinn Huey. Let's get a look at Quinn Huey. It's time for Papa to walk home. We got two really good videos today, so I'm really happy with that. 41. 41. God, we could already count. We can. I know for a fact, just based off the video we did here the other day, there's 10 places for rent over here too, so 51, we can call it, right in this windway area. So. It's actually a good amount of people for a Monday at 4.30, you know? On Nguyen Hue. Take a shot every time I say Nguyen Hue. <laughs> You're drunker than a skunker. Couple of hoodies. Walking right down the, the middle. Yeah, if I went over there and we actually counted up, it would be at least at like 51. She's filming me, be a vlogger. Xin chào. Hello. She was video chatting with somebody and then showed me filming. I'm that famous, guys. Didn't you see the mall video where like, we had a subscriber say, hey, watch all your videos. Proofs in the pudding. So we're at 51, and that's just like a basic guess to this area. It would probably, you could add another 10, 60 to be safe. You know, it's equivalent to how much is on this side is over here. I can see, see, there's two more right here. So if we're at the official count, we're 43, 44 now. So it's, it's safe to say there's probably 60. Oh, I can see two more even. There's just so many over here. It's just like what we just looked at on the opposite side. You know what? Let's just do it. It's gonna be a long video, but there's gonna be people interested in this. So yeah, let's not just guess and let's just do it. That's what I wanna do. Oh, there's two right here, too. So, 45 we're at. 45, 4-5. Five. Five. Guy's machine gun. Five. We counted these two. 46, 47. So we're at 47. 48. So we're at 48 up until the nutty. Oh wow, two more. 49, 50, so that's 50. Official count is at 50. Jesus Christ. This is kind of sad. It's a huge opportunity though. Fifty-one. 
51, 52, 52. So we're at 52 now. Easily going to be at 60 in five minutes. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Oh, it's about to just climb faster than you could even believe. Fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five. Hmm. I want to go this way. So we calculated those. We're at fifty-five. Looks like I'm going to be pretty spot on with my guesstimate. Cutting way on the inside Halo games. 55. Well, my. It's a good little drink. There's a police station right over here somewhere. I don't know how I never noticed the one in uh, Boy Vane. I don't think I ever... 55. It's because there's never that many. Hello. It's because there's never that many bikes and cops there before. When we filmed that uh, just the other day, there was like 25 bikes there. That's never like that. They park somewhere else. So it's probably why it was attention brought to me. You know what I'm saying? 55. This is far. Yeah, here's this chop shop. Right around here. I can't remember which one. There is a chop shop here. Oh, the cops sitting around smoking ciggies. Oh, here it is right here. To my right. Not gonna film it. I'm not a protagonist. Pro tip, don't film government stuff. 56. 57. 58. 59, 60, 61, Jesus, this one is just, looks like a bomb dropped off inside of it, 61, you got a Chiquita takeaway, absolutely delicious food, a little expensive, but a cute little knickknack store. Hello. Hello. Wow. <laughs> 61. 62, 62, numbers are just astronomically high, we're going to wrap this up, cutie in a mini skirt, 62, just getting some poi, I'll show you, see, I don't mind, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67 is the next number. So we're at 66 right now. 66 businesses in and around Winway are available in fur rep. Tell me that is not uh, <laughs> economic impact. Uh, 67, the chicken place. So we've got that one, 67. I'm going to do a, a little box here as I don't want to uh, really keep we've reached the end of this video I've made my point a lot of lady bars stand in strong because I think they know that once they can open they'll have a, a pretty big boom of business 62 62 little box here and then end at Quinway and I'll walk home after a successful day of vlogging do you guys want to see two a days are you happy with one a day let me know in the comment section People waiting for their tea. It's kind of interesting how they're queuing you along. 
Oh, you can actually have a coffee outside on a chair. Interesting. Selling some hoonie hoons. Never tried this place. We will, though. I don't know what saying that means. Maybe a higher employee. As you can see, almost all the lady bars are holding out. You got fatties holding out. Oh, there's one over there. 63, right? Somebody correct the counting. It'll be funny. So just by briefly going behind and not even fully going behind, you know, we've got 63 empty places, guys. I think you get the point I think you see the economic impact around New Nguyenway. I want to shoot more of these in other districts so we can really get a handle on how bad it actually is. So I hope this video was interesting for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, well, one more, so 64. Oh, 64 right at the end here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. You know, not all videos are fun and in games. I'm still in an upbeat, super good mood. But uh, I know a lot of people are curious on that. This started as just a, a you know, a win-way tour. But then, as we were counting the places like I did in Japantown, kind of dawned on me to change it into an economic impact video. Sometimes things happen like that, so I'm not mad about it. All right, guys, stay frosty. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out. Bonus content, bringing back an old concept. So, as I was starting to walk home out of the wind wave, just kids started showing up in droves. So like, it filled up fast. I've got like one little bit of battery left. So I'll show you. I mean, it just quickly, oh, this guy's an army. That's what an army uniform looks like. He's a medic. Maybe he can get me an MRE. All kinds of kids showed up though, like high schoolers, young college kids. It doesn't look like it, but it's way more packed than what it was. There's like a whole group of 10 over here taking selfies. Really good to see the uh, town buzzing, people coming out. Get you a little shot of a, a proper rush hour on the way home again. What's up, baby girl? Pretty thick traffic. Okay, let's walk back. I'm gonna show you. They showed up quick. You know, sun's starting to go down, it's common. All the girls are dressed up. A fellow expat with this woman enjoying ice cream cone. I do not like the ice cream here. You probably wouldn't either. It's not real ice cream. It's like powdered or, or some bullshit. I don't know what it's made out of, but it ain't good. Got some kids that just got off school that are having a little ice cream snack. Yeah, it looks like vocational training for medical some army guys over here too. It's kind of interesting. Glad we got bonus content. Maybe their last day at army? I don't know. We've seen quite a few of these young, the younger over here. Construction workers getting off work. It's as if everything is returned to normal. Alright guys, that's the bonus content a segment I used to do a lot back in the day that we are bringing back now and we're starting to get a catalog of cute videos so two a days are coming all right bonus content out